All right, so Paul with the Wing Performance here with Bob from Diesel Side. He's going to show us the new intercooler kit for the OBS 7.3. It should cut install time down to next to nothing. Yeah. Want to kind of go through the kit? So basically, it's a water to air intercooler instead of the conventional air to air. Much more efficient. You don't have to worry about airflow. If you're climbing a hill at slow speeds and you're on the throttle, you're still going to get the same cooling as if you were doing 65, 70 mile an hour down the road. It comes with the uh, intake manifold, the boots, everything to mount it, even a little mini radiator that mounts up. It's not part of the picture here, but it mounts up in front of the radiator and you'll run the hoses to it. And it comes with everything you see here. Install time's probably in it. Hour and a half with a beer. And That's you, nuts. And you were saying on this kit that like, it doesn't matter the injector size or the turbo size you're using. That's this, correct. This will be efficient for everything other than obviously like a T4 kit is not not designed as designed for the factory style turbo so correct one it's of your wicked kits on this or it'll be a direct bolt in for an OBS turbo or any of our uh, OBS turBO kits uh, if you're running a T4 style you may have to do something different with the intake manifold section but you can but it'll it still around. it'll still cool even a, it'll a big still cool even the big chargers and we made the the coolers have the rib to hold the boots on so you can well, you, picked it, you picked it up just then. I want to show the inside of the cooler here. Kind of give us a rundown on this this design. You were telling me yesterday it's a four chamber. It's yeah, it's a, it's a four core cooler pass. So the air goes straight through, but the water actually has to make a crisscross and goes through four cores before it comes back out the other side. So the water spends a lot of time in here. It doesn't just come in one hole and exit out the other. Right. So, so this is. Like kind of playing on the same lines as the six seven air to water yeah, setup. When we saw the new six sevens uh, come out with the water to air, and all OEMs are using water to air now. So mm -hmm. as we saw that, we said, "That's our answer. We got to go water to air on this." And well, it, it saves core supports too. That's a huge thing. OBS trucks, uh, like they're almost all. If you find a good one, you don't really want to cut it up. And you don't have to mess with that on this. With, with this, you just install it in top. You don't have to mess with the core supports. And uh, one of the questions I know Chris asked just a minute ago is, if you've got like an irate heat fuel kit where the regulator is mounted onto the high pressure oil reservoir, because this sits on top of that, uh, you've even designed this to where there's no interference with that. So even aftermarket fuel systems, this works. Aftermarket turbo kits, this works. Correct. So we mounted our regulators in the same general area as everybody else did. Right. So the it's kind of hard to tell here. I wish I had a reservoir, but it kind of sits up and back of the reservoir. So all of this area right in here, which is usually where everybody's mounting stuff, right. is still all readily available. Um, and absolutely no hood clearance issues. No I know that you, like, you kind of think that it, you would have a hood clearance issue because it stands up a little taller over the engine, but correct. But plenty in of that room spot, there. there's a lot of hood, hood clearance. So we've got it sitting up and back to the point you can change glow plug relays. You can do just about all of the engine work. You can pull a high pressure oil pump out of this without pulling the intercooler out. Really? Yes. Well, right. That's awesome. And, and even at that, like this looks like it, even if you wanted to take the whole thing out to be able to get to the motor, like it's. You literally, one bolt, take these two clamps off and pull the whole unit and lay it off the side. Even with the hoses connected to the cooler, we take it and lift it and just butterfly it back over and lay it over by the heater core and really? it's out of our way. Yeah, put it back into the clamps. That's awesome. So, so it's, it's real user friendly and mechanic friendly. So like mechanics aren't having to work around a whole bunch of nope. stuff to work on the truck or you're not now disassembling the truck to change no plugs. That's right. correct. Like, Peace and, and from what you were saying, price wise, it should be comparable to what the bank's intercooler gets. Yeah, we're a rough we're, idea because you don't have everything set in stone just yet. Because this is like new, new. Because this, this is we're new, at new the, where raw materials are here. We're ready to start putting this together. So couple first, weeks. Couple, couple weeks. Couple weeks. And these things are gonna fly off the shelf. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, we'll we'll be the first to list them on Complete Performance's website. So come check it out. Thanks, Bob.